Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Thor News monthly end of the month fundraiser where I'm bringing you a breaking story from Time Magazine on the Internet. NASA detects small leak on the International Space Station and the Russian crew is fixing it with rags and junk. Well, that sounds like the exact state of our space agency. And I need you to be prepared. I would guess right now men's and women's lives are in danger, mildly. But I shall be making jokes because if you have a space agency and you're going to have a giant apartment 200 miles over Earth, you should at least keep, keep the space shuttle that can get people there and back to Earth. Right? So... Okay, they got rid of the space shuttle, and then we depend on the Russians to get us there and back. I have to assume at this point that NASA and the Russians have a way to get these astronauts back to Earth. Whether Elon Musk is building a new space submarine that he can, he can get there a few hours after they've already been saved, or they have parachutes, or hang gliders, or maybe the secret space force can get some of those anti-grav ships in there but so this is a serious situation but i'm still going to be telling jokes about it because like i said there's it's like a big space balloon in the sky that does high school science projects but the people there are technically astronauts and humans and cool people and a sign that russians and americans can work together just fine and everybody will be okay what happened was something punched a hole in the International Space Station. And we also had a large meteor over, was it Arizona last night? Big bright one in the sky. So nobody knows what caused the hole. Let me read the article. Instead of giving you hearsay, this is by Jeffrey Kluger and Mahita Gorjanan. The crew of the International Space Station is scrambling to fix a small hole that is causing air to slowly leak into space, NASA said Thursday. You could use Space Force here, man. And did you know the term Space Force came from JFK? John F. Kennedy. Flight controllers for the station saw signs of the pressure leak on Wednesday evening. They allowed the crew of the ISS Expedition 56 to sleep since they were not in immediate danger. According to NASA. That makes me feel good, right? Okay, what? After the crew woke up, the flight controllers start the process to find the leak's location. The station is regularly hit by micrometeorite debris. Spacewalking astronauts report that after nearly 20 years aloft, the exterior hull looks as if it was hit by a bird shot. What? Who uses bird shot? Is that even a thing? There's buckshot, and there's rock salt, and there's shotgun shells with BBs in them. What's bird shot? Do we know what birdshot is? Um, another thing, our Hubble is a telescope that's been up for 25 years. The International Space Station is a, a big apartment, 200 miles above Earth. Technically, it's in space. Same way if you walk to the beach and have the wave touch your little pinky toe, you've swam the ocean or whatever. Um... What am I trying to say here? Oh, so yeah, the Hubble's 25 years old, and this is 25 year old, years old. <clears throat> and if we build anything new, 99% of the time it goes to Mars. We sent the Parker probe to the sun, which is amazing. And I love that project. And we sent Juno to Jupiter, which is amazing. Then we have New Horizons headed to Ultimate Thule, which I had to have to do a video on. Damn it, weather, what have you been doing to me? Okay. So yeah. The International Space Station is old, and it's been up there for a long time. And the Hubble's old, and it's been up there for a long time. It's like, why don't we go to the moon? It's expensive. Well, we spent like $500 billion on the International Space Station. And they're like, why don't we have the space shuttle anymore? And they're like, it's expensive. It's like, well, you know, everything else looks expensive. And it seems like having a space shuttle was an important step of your space program. I mean, having... Be in space program and having a giant apartment complex in the sky with no ladder or 
stairs or elevator or spaceship to take you up and down. That just seems really weird, and it's always seemed really weird. So if these guys are in danger now, it's because of really poor-sighted planning, <clears throat> which I've been noting at Thor News for five years. That's why I don't believe in pol politicians, political parties. I do like ideas, though. And I do think we need a Space Force. And I say that as your Planetary Defense Commander, T. Star Lord New Thor 7. The station is regularly hit by micrometeorite debris, space birds, and then space bird poop. <clears throat> I had that in for comedic effect. Spacewalking astronauts report that after nearly 20 years aloft, the exterior hull looks as if it was hit by birdshot. Said that twice. The birdshots threw me off. The danger is greater in the region that station orbits, about 250 miles above Earth. That area is in the thick of the low Earth orbit debris belt, where most spacecraft fly, and thus most space junk is routinely shred and shed. But I thought it was above the space junk. A direct hit by a large chunk of debris is not common. But it could be catastrophic. Okay which is why astronauts and cosmonauts rehearse for this possibility that I guess is happening right now. So if they're sticking rags and bubblegum in that hole, that's a bad sign. Shouldn't they have some super silicate caulk in there for a problem like this? I mean, when I had a moped, I had it for my tires. And if rags and bunk gum and junk might work, then that caulk shit would probably work really well. You can use it in normal homes, I think. Are we supposed to have... Okay. During the 2015-2016 window in which the American astronaut Scott Kelly and Russian cosmonaut Misha Kornienko spent a year in orbit, the crew had to shelter in place in the Suez return vehicle when NASA and Roscosmos, the Russian space agency, detected a cloud of space junk heading the station's way. The danger passed with no damage to the ship. So all you, all you people out there who've been making fun of Space Force, I've been like saying, like you <clears throat> literally don't understand this, the state of our space program. We have a giant condo in the sky we can't even get to. We got like 35 robots on Mars. The one telescope we have to take pictures of the universe is 25 years old. This thing's like 20 years old but we keep treating it like it's some antique classic car. Like, oh God, no, we gotta keep doing shit on that space station. Well, what are we doing up there? Sciencey stuff. You know, <laughs> anyway. I mean, I, I hope these guys are okay. Hey, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be okay. Um, And it, I'm having Nostradamus flashbacks when you're talking about space station falling from the sky, but I thought that was Skylab when that fell from the sky. All right. This time, the breach is in the Soyuz itself, which could prevent the crew from using it as a lifeboat and escape vehicle. Oh, no. The Soyuz is vulnerable. Three-person Russian spacecraft that has been flying since 1967. Okay, so the escape pod we have on this thing is... I didn't want to do math right now. The ships are now used to deliver crew to the ISS. They're then docked onto the space station and used again to return the crew to Earth. For now, the leak is small, only two minimum, minimum, but any such break in the bulkhead can lead to complete depressurization. I don't know. I would probably evacuate them. The crew is, for now, taking the low... T As planetary defense commander, I'd say get them out. Like, for all intents and purposes, all the thing I said, like, if they only got junk to fill those holes they don't have like some super carbon fiber rapid hardening caulk that you can fill that thing with or you don't have up-to-dated escape pox escape pods or like space parachutes suit jumps like that's what i'm saying is the technology has been frozen in the 80s people like our space programs have been frozen in the 80s and everybody's like this is fine you know, how can we worry about that when Amorosa's got fart tapes that she's going to release in 2022? You know? Or, 
Okay, I won't go down there. I was going to try and balance it out. Okay, but we're going ahead. We're just going to push on because this is crazy. The crew is for now. And I'm pretty sure these guys, that you're an astronaut, you're a badass. And Chuck Yeager crashed like 33 times. So if we're going to put you on the space station, in my mind's eye, I'm just believing you can get out. You guys can get out and you're going to get out safe. So that's why I'm still making jokes. A NASA space a NASA spokesperson confirmed at time via phone that the depressurization on the space station did not pose an immediate threat to crew safety, and added, <clears throat> "It was not a full depressurized event. It was a small leak. It tracked to Doc Soyuz. Tracked to Doc Soyuz. What do you mean? So the thing hit. Now I'm totally confused. So it hit the wall, and that happened to hit the wall of the escape pod too." That seems like some really shitty luck, man. <sighs> Depressurization in orbit has happened before. Oh. In 1997, the MERS space station was struck, stuck by an incoming progress cargo vehicle. What? Causing a break in one of the MER modules. That breach was much bigger than the current one. But the crew managed to slam the hatch to the affected module and thus isolate the leak. The severity of any leak can be determined by crew in a very basic way. If yours don't pop, there's no significant break. If they pop a little and hurt a little, there's a small break. The fear is the break severe enough to rupture an eardrum that will cause severe pain. That, in the worst cases, would be the last thing the crew would ever feel. What a shitty way to end the sentence, man. Or in the article. Eardrums would blow up and then they would die because they did not heed our orders of evacuate now. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's like a 80s shoebox up there. Yeah, get them out of there. Plans your defense commander says, pull them out. Thing was a hunk of junk anyways. Get them out of there. All of them. That's what I recommend. We don't even know what the hell popped a hole in it, man. And it happened to hit the escape pod. How many more signs do you need? And this is where we're going to find out what type of technology we have to get people down other than the escape pod. You have to have things called redundancies. Oh, my God. Okay, what was I looking for? Something very important. I mean, like, how do you not have special suits and, like, hand gliders or parachutes? I was looking for something important. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, my prayers are with them. I these, of all the astronauts in the world, these are like 10 of the very, supposed to be very finest. Hopefully they all have military training like that. Wow, that's all. Why? It's 2018. And then I'm going to have to look, now I'm going to have to look up Nostradamus shit again. Which is not always fun. And sets my love life back. By like three weeks. That didn't make any sense. Now I'm just running... Video from an old International Space Station video I did. This is why we should have the space shuttle. Like, one of the main proponent things at Thor News is bring back the space shuttle. You want to be able to get to the moon and back. You want to be able to get to the space shuttle and back. A rocket is just like firing an arrow out into space. The idea that we ever gave up the space shuttle is, makes no sense. It's too expensive. We spent all our money on this. And now we don't have the proper escape things to get people out. I mean, by now you should have like a, a mini space station, like a space. I mean, a mini space shuttle would be like a jet ski, a space jet ski. Man, like before technology just stopped in its tracks because of Mars and its love of oil. All right. Those guys are going to survive. We got to get, they have to have, this is Okay. All right, everybody stay cool. We're all covering this and we'll all figure it out. This, But this story is shining a light on exactly how up-to-date our space program is and why we do need a space force, in my opinion, is your planetary defense commander. God bless everyone. <clears throat> stay cool. And if you love Thor News, want Thor News to survive and continue to be on your airwaves, as long as Google will continue to let me be on the stage. I would appreciate any contributions or donations at the 
end of the month, Thor News fundraiser for August 2018, in the middle of peak crazy hurricane season. Yeah, well, smoking pot in space, or at least high orbit, on my space jet ski. With my space girlfriend would be awesome. So the International Space Station's got trouble, our infrastructure has trouble. And where did the $21 million go? <clears throat> All right, you guys stay cool. I love you. May the force be with you always. Let's live long and prosper together. Let's work together. Get past this being stuck in the mud from 1880, 1980. What's the difference? Stay cool.